Hey, how's it going all you lovely people at Shut Door or Door Shutter coming back here with a brand new episode of the Dire Wolf 20 1.20 mod pack. And today we are getting into Industrial Foregoing Souls. This was actually something I planned on releasing this morning, but was unable to because I did not realize my microphone was not recording the entire time. It is currently, which is fantastic. So the mod was actually not added at the time I was going to do this. But since then, it has been added as of 1.10.0 of the pack. So, this is official. This is fantastic. Okay? So, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to hop straight into this. So, first things first, this adds three new things into the industrial foregoing atmosphere, right? Uh, so, if we type in uh, all of this, you just get three items. The soul laser base, the soul pipe, and the soul surge. The soul laser base is basically like a fluid laser base or an ore laser base. It requires a blue lens to extract a soul from a warden. Okay, so big question. How do you get the warden? The warden can actually be picked up with a mob imprisonment tool. So that is awesome, right? You can pick him up. You can then take him wherever you need to. And then that way you're able to extract his soul. So that's that. Uh, I've tried a soul vial. That is blacklisted. So I just went ahead and made a mob imprisonment tool. So the soul sword surge is four echo shards, two plastic, one piston, and stone. The soul laser base is two diamond gears, skulk catalyst, advanced machine frame, two iron bars, two plastic, and a skulk shrieker. Soul pipes are one echo shard, six types of uh, stone, whichever type you have and then two plastic, okay? So not too expensive. One of the things you're gonna have to remember is you're going to need stasis chambers. One stasis chamber uh, will equivalent be equivalent to four uh, laser drills that are not upgraded. So we're gonna try something, because I saw in the demo they only had one stasis chamber that was extracting the soul of one warden. So what I wanna try is what happens if we have five stasis chambers plus one warden, can we extract more? Uh, and and I, I did test this, by the way, off camera. Um, I did set everything down and check that you can't upgrade the actual laser bases or the laser drills, my apologies. Um, so with one, it actually kills the warden faster. So we're going to try it this way here. So we've got one flux point. Okay. We're going to turn this on to a new one I just called Warden. And we're going to grab an advanced pipe upgrade, grab some of our energy pipes. And we're just going to plop this all down just like so here. Okay. And so this should activate. And what I'm thinking is that these should all activate within a proper range of the Warden. Okay. So he's basically going to be sitting in the middle there. Right. And so what we're going to try is to not get into that range. We're going to turn this all off. Okay. And we can actually put some upgrades inside of these things. And I might need to upgrade the flux storage on that network, which I can do real quick here in a little while. But for right now, we're just going to go with it. Okay. So let's see. I think they should be decent. Uh, you know what, let me go quickly sort that out and then we'll be right back. All right, so that is all done. I've also quickly moved this over into one chunk here, just because why not? So what we should be able to do now is place down the warden. Okay, he should spawn and just immediately get stuck, right? So he can't move and you'll notice that he does just stand there. Okay, that's a very key thing. So press F3B to understand where his height is. I guess it's kind of glitched out here. But he is basically, what is that? One, two, three, three blocks tall. So we'll go up four. And we will put the soul laser base right there. And this should be proper. I'm hoping. It looks like it may be a little bugged out, but it's okay. So we're just going to keep going. Let's grab all of these items. So laser drill, laser drill, laser drill. Let's actually throw the blue laser lens in there, okay? So once we take out these, you should see white particle effects. 
Perfect. So that means that these are linked. So we can throw all of our upgrades in here. And of course, we'll get our uh, power and everything going here in a second. So we'll throw in... I think this just takes processing and efficiency. And then the rest can be processing. Perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go out this block. Plux point. Actually, let's do... Let's just do it this way. Uh, energy pipe, energy pipe, energy pipe. And then over on this side, we'll do energy pipe, energy pipe, energy pipe. There, there, accept power, accept power. Okay. And then at pipes, I want to grab one more of these. So we can actually take more. And this is not functioning. Okay, I don't know why he's doing that. He's not supposed to come out of the ground when I drop this. Okay, so let me... Let me spawn him elsewhere. Okay, so let's, let's watch. So let him come out of the ground... Okay, so he spawned, his, his hitbox has changed, so now let's replace him down. Okay, there. So now you see how he's standing, partially, now you can see it. Uh, this is actually showing that his soul is extracting, okay? That's what you're looking for, making sure that hitbox is actually up above the ground. So I just needed to drop him back down into the world for a second, so that way he could actually register fully. So, one of the things you can see here is his health is 250, which is 250 full hearts. His full health is 500, right? Um, but this means that this many stasis chambers actually is sustainable for all of these laser drills. Uh, I want to test further because I'm not sure how much we could do. Uh, but you can see that we have soul storage. We're at like 5%. So, let's add a couple or just a whole set more. Um on top of this and see if he can take it because the biggest thing is we don't want his health dwindling right we want it to stay about 250 240 ish okay so we're still we're still in that amount so let's get upgrades thrown in here and i think this is probably where it's going to get us okay so you can see his health dropped for 247 so we're, st we're taking some bigger hits, right, with his health. But I think he is stable enough in this situation to not really worry about it. Um, one thing I want to test as well, since this is a new mod, by the way. This mod only came out a few days ago. I did forget to mention that. This mod is basically brand new. And we'll get to the point of doing this whole system here in a second. I'm just kind of curious. Can I bind this to here? and take the soul pipes can i attach those okay it does not look like an attach the soul pipes which is sad but there's no wireless transmission of the soul so basically i think what i want to do is kind of do this a little strangely but i've made a blood altar which isn't too expensive stone furnace and gold and we can kind of show you how this is functioning so let's place two stone blocks break the bottom one Place a soul surge into the bottom. Okay. And I think we'll demonstrate this with a furnace first. Just because it's easier to demonstrate uh, what this is doing. So let's grab some ore. Um, I have 64 copper ore. Let's take that. Let's grab some coal. And let's throw the copper in there and the copper in here. So I'm going to throw the coal into the second one first. And then the first one. And you can see that the speed at which this is going, okay? So this is much, much quicker with the soul infusion, basically. It's basically like infusing into the machine. And that means it makes it run at a faster tick rate. But it costs soul. So with this setup currently, we are doing a fantastic job of taking enough soul to actually justify using this for something else, which is the blood altar. I don't know if this is fully going to work 100% uh, with this setup, 
But we're gonna grab some string. I actually have some soul snares in here because I was actually testing this. So uh, 13 soul snares, but I wanna see with how much more soul we have if we can get this going just a little bit better here. So um, sacrificial knife is a whole bunch of glass, gold, and an iron ingot. And we're just going to spam click this until the blood altar fills up. Okay, and then the soul snare, if I were to click on this, it basically should complete in a matter of seconds. Okay, so you can see that's pretty quick. So my question is, if we take this blood altar, and if we put this down here, and we were to go and fill this back up, I ain't really too worried about my hearts. Uh, if we put this in here, you can see how long this will take. Okay, so that took quite a bit longer. So yes, this does work on a blood altar. Uh, I will leave a link down in the description to this mod as well. So you guys can read about it, especially for mod authors. There is some important information. I think at the very bottom of the mod page, it gives you a specific block tag to put into your block tags to prevent the actual soul surge, uh, this whole system from basically speeding up your machines. Um, so mod pack authors, all of that stuff could actually use this to uh, increase speed of, of machines, but also make sure that other machines can't be used in this way, right? Um, fantastic. Uh, you know what? Just because I'm curious, is this a bad idea? Do we speed up? Hold on. Can we speed up the soul surge? Is there a way to try and connect this? I mean, technically we could take out one of these laser drills for a second, just for science. For science, I tell you, for science. Okay, put that there. I don't know if it's going any faster, but it feels like it's going faster. It just feels like it. So if I take this off, I can't tell. <laughs> I genuinely couldn't tell. Uh, but this block also may have that thing on it. So let's actually check. So let's go uh, souls. Does this have the tag? Uh, oh, actually, we want the uh, shown privileges there, the, the shown advanced tooltips. No, actually, this does not have it on there. Kind of interesting. So I guess you could technically speed it up if you wanted to go that route. You could speed up your soul uh, laser base. I mean, really, you can. It wouldn't be too difficult because you don't need uh, these laser drills on this level. You can have them on this level or this level, and you'd be fine. You can also put them, I think, like right up here on top. So you would be fine in any direction. Okay. Just wanted to check that out real quick. So... Um, I also have failed to mention Irons, Spells, and Spellbook is put into this pack now. Um, so alongside the uh, this whole uh, Industrial Foregoing Souls uh, mod is also the Iron Spellbook and everything. So the reason I'm thinking we can do this Blood Altar here though is because I want to use this to speed up Blood Magic. Um, and this is going to be an interesting concept, but I don't want to get into it this episode. I want this episode to focus purely on this and kind of what we can do with it, right? And I think this is kind of a general demonstration. So we've got this. I don't know what kind of extent we could do with this. I think if we wanted to, if you really were trying to do something crazy, you could probably speed up these growth accelerators or actually just the flawless budding certus courts. Maybe that might be something to try, but... Yeah, you can do quite a bit of crazy things with this, I would assume. Maybe speed up a builder, uh, something like that. Man, I forgot my builder was over here. Huh. Oh, well. But yeah, there's so much stuff I could look at with this. But for right now, we're going to wrap this one up. I know this is a really short episode compared to what I usually do, but I really wanted to cover this mod in particular and not get it bogged down with anything. But we will be back tomorrow to look at some blood magic, kind of start getting into blood magic, and seeing what has changed over the last few months, maybe a year. I don't even know how long it's been since I've last played Blood Magic. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to get back into it and to see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. 
Uh, but before we leave, let's actually make sure we claim and load that uh, that chunk right there because that'll definitely help us um, help us out in the future without you know despawning this guy. So the soul storage is full. I, I kind of hope that they add some sort of soul um, soul vats or something like that. That might be pretty cool. And it looks like there's actually a passive draw on even blocks that aren't being used. So that's actually something to keep in mind too. I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, I don't really care. But yeah. Anyway, thank you guys. Stay awesome. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.